Today I'm going to discuss professionalism. I am often accused of being unprofessional, not professional, but I do consider myself a professional. And if I want to defend that stance, then I have to describe what it is that makes me a professional. And part of it is that I think my definition of professional is different than what a lot of people think it is or what it is to a lot of other people. I don't really give a fuck what other people think is professional. I'm going to tell you what I think is professional. The first requirement to be a professional is that you do work to a professional standard. Now obviously I have to explain what I mean by professional standard because I'm using the word professional to define professional and that's kind of dumb. Doing work to a professional standard means that A, you always and consistently can get it right above the expectations of the customer. So it's not like you get the three point shot from half court once, it's that you can do that on a regular basis. And I got this definition from Slipperman from uh, the Womb Forums. He's a renowned metal audio engineer who's great at what he does and he used to have a radio show. And he was talking about how one time one of his juniors uh, did a mix and that mix kicked his mix's ass. And the guy was talking about it and all happy and everything and he's like, yeah, can you do that every day of the week? Uh, you know, 365 days a year. Can you do it when you're tired? Can you do that when the band hates you? Can you do it when the equipment is not working? Like, if you're a professional when you can do your job to a professional standard on a regular basis, every day under different circumstances. So, for example, let's talk about iPhone repair. I can teach a 10 year old child how to fix an iPhone if you give me one hour of time with him. I can. It's that easy. But that doesn't mean that he can do it professionally. Professional means that. When you're really hungry and you have to get this done in five minutes, you're not gonna you're not gonna mess it up. When you knock a small resistor or inductor off of the motherboard, you know how to find it and put it back on. Professional means that you know where to get the parts to do it. So it's not like I bought it from eBay and by chance I got a good part the first time. It's that I buy stuff that's so good that every single one of these is just gonna work the first time I put it in. Professional standard means that you A, do the job above the customer's expectations, and B, that you can do it on a regular basis under different circumstances. That if I am sitting in Herald Square Park and it is about to rain and I have 90 seconds to finish this soldering job before I have no light, that I'll be able to do it. That when the people are screaming at me and bitching at me and I've had a bad miserable day and my hand is shaking and I'm annoyed that I'm gonna do the job just as well. That everything is always gonna come out well regardless of the circumstances. That no matter what happens I'm gonna get it done right. That's professionalism. So the first part of my description of professionalism was on the actual operations, the doing the work. Now I want to talk about the image because that's the part where I'm usually called unprofessional. Even people who hate me usually have no problem with the work that I do. But the people who regularly call me unprofessional, they're usually referring to how I speak, my, my actions, uh, customer service and whatnot. And here is my definition of professional. You are professional when you are not afraid of losing revenue for expressing your opinion. So when you do not hide how you think because you are afraid that it will affect your revenue stream, that to me is being professional. Not when you will uh, avoid a topic or avoid saying things or uh, avoid speaking in a certain way or say, well, I'd really love to discuss this, but I can't because I'm afraid that people won't like me or that people will think I'm unprofessional. When you do that, that's my definition of unprofessional. The companies out there that refuse to speak their mind and refuse to speak why their policy is what it is, those companies to me are unprofessional because you are not giving people the information they need to make an informed decision as to whether or not to use you. I give a lot of opinions and I give a lot of facts about how my business works, why it works in the manner that it does, and I put all of this out here on even why technicians may lie to you under certain circumstances, what our warranty policy is, how we handle these things. I put everything out there so that a customer can choose whether or not to use our business based on the actual honest manner in which it runs. We are not hiding anything. There is a complete transparent wall between the customer and how and why we do business the way we do it. And that to me is the definition of professional. I am so confident that we do business in a sane and rational manner and I am so confident that there is a good reason behind everything we do. Even the things that you may not like that I am okay with putting it all out there for everybody to see within just one click. Whether it's on our blog, on posts that I make on independent websites, on this YouTube channel. And the other thing about putting it all out there, about being transparent, about saying what you think and feel, is that if some of it is not rational, 
you'll figure it out because if you're afraid to phrase something, if you're afraid to say something to a lot of people and you think that I really shouldn't say that because other people are gonna think that that's messed up, there's a good chance that maybe it actually is messed up and by vocalizing it you have the chance to figure out which of your policies are irrational and which ones should be changed so that they can become more rational and as a result of speaking your mind in an informed manner you happen to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't and you get to figure out what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing a little better than if you just keep your mouth shut and one of the things I figured out with this channel and with the blog that I've had for the past three years is that a lot of the things that I thought were right were wrong and a lot of the things that I thought were wrong and unprofessional actually attracted business and it not only attracted uh, regular business, it attracted good business, it attracted clients, not customers, but people who like this company because of the way that we do business. And I'm not just doing business to regular Joes with broken iPhone screens that walk in. We have school contracts. We have schools that will send us 70 or 100 machines to repair. We have companies that will send us a ton of phones to fix. We have schools that will buy screens from us 100 or 200 at a time. We have uh, corporate customers that will send us machines with liquid damage with motherboards that need repairing. We have advertising companies that will send us iPads that get used at certain functions where alcohol is present and have, you know, they're just destroyed. The point is that there are a lot of professional corporate clients that we have, pr public sector educational clients that we have in spite of the fact that I have this blog and this YouTube channel. So it's not like, oh, there is a curse word. We are not going to use him. That's how you're taught the world works when you're in second and third grade where everything is so black and white. But in the real world, uh, people are going to use you based on the transparency that you have, based on whether you provide a good service, whether they trust you. And a big part of whether or not people trust you is how transparent are you, how honest are you. So you can very easily have a lot of these type of customers and be wearing a great t-shirt and cursing on the internet. So. My definition of professionalism is based on A, doing a good job consistently, having the tools required to do a good job consistently, having the backup spare parts and the knowledge required so that when we fuck things up, because we will fuck things up, to fix it for the customer when we have when that happens. So when you do fit into that one or three percent where something gets knocked off or destroyed, we're here for you. The second part of being professional is not being afraid to say what you think or to phrase your policies to the public because you are afraid that you will lose revenue. Following this definition of professionalism, my business has grown exponentially and I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. And further, uh, my business has become a bit more rational, our policies make a bit more sense because when I sit down and make one of these videos or write one of these blogs and I think to myself, God, this is really terrible. I don't want to share this. It's usually a bad idea. And if it's a bad idea, it doesn't belong in my business. And if it's something that I'm not confident sharing with you, then it's something that I probably shouldn't be doing. So.